right, no filter MMA family. This, of course, is your boy BJ back with another video short. Shout out to Combo Breaker 99, man. Uh, Combo bought something to my to my attention the other day. Um, so Macy Barber is apparently out of her fight with Aaron Blanchfield. So they are looking to make Miranda Maverick versus Aaron Blanchfield. Now, if you remember correctly. The original fight was Montana De La Rosa versus Macy Barber. So with that fight not happening, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to uh, go with me here while I walk and get something out of the car. Now that fight was originally supposed to happen. Montana De La Rosa pulled out due to injury. Um, you know what I'm saying? Then Macy was supposed to fight Aaron Blanchfield, and now Macy is pulled out. Guys, the MMA gods have spoken. Okay. The MMA gods have spoken because I had a conversation with them. You know what I'm saying? I had a conversation with the MMA gods. And what I told the MMA gods is some way, somehow, y'all need to make Montana De La Rosa versus Macy Barber happen. Y'all need to make that fight happen. That fight is a fight that absolutely 100% has to happen. Don't dangle that fight in front of us and then snatch that fight away from us. And I begged and I pleaded with the MMA gods, please guys, please, if you want if you don't make any other fight at 125 pounds, please let this one happen. If you don't make any other fight, please on oh, oh my god for everything we all love make this fight happen. You know what I'm saying? So with them both being out for injury and them both not being able to fight, guys, this fight is the fight that needs to be rebooked, rescheduled, and remade. This fight needs to happen. You know, and, and you know, all the potential I see in Montana De La Rosa, the biggest thing that I have to fight, you know, in, in, in taking up for Montana and seeing, you know, and seeing my, uh, making my case for Montana being – a dangerous threat in this 125 pound division is the fact that she hasn't her wins aren't over the best people you know what i'm saying like her wins aren't over the best people and macy barber well as we know macy barber ain't the most skilled flyweight in the division you know a win over macy would solidify montana de la rosa as ready to move on to the next echelon of the 125 pound division you know what i'm saying a win over macy barber would you know mean for montana that okay she's ready because macy macy is kind of on that on that hinge you know what I'm saying? she's on that hinge of being at the top of the division she's kind of dangling around in the middle of the division you know what i'm saying so with montana de la rosa out and macy barber out this fight i could see this fight happening early 2022 the matchmakers are going to bring them two right back around to each other, you know what I'm saying, and say, hey, you guys are both out, whatever, whatever. Um, this is the fight that needs to be made. This is the fight that needs to be made. So, um, you know, my thoughts on it is, you know, Montana needs this fight. And the, the MMA guys know that De La Rosa needs this fight. You know what I'm saying? It's a very winnable fight for Montana. You know what I'm saying? You know, of course, I think Montana De La Rosa wins. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got two powerful punchers, and so, but but with Montana, you got more of a skill on the ground. She's much, much better than Macy Barber on the ground. Montana has size and physicality that she can most definitely hold Macy Barber down if she chooses to. If she gets Macy Barber down to the ground, now it's going to be hard to get Macy down. Macy kind of stumpy. You know what I'm saying? But if Montana gets Macy down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Macy's in her world. It's it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's it's a wrap. So, you know, even on the feet, it's competitive. So, you know, I just want to let y'all know that the MMA guys have spoken. And let's look forward to seeing this fight first quarter of 2022. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Before I go, how excited are we for Aaron Blanchfield versus Miranda Maverick, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, ah. Uh, I'm excited, but I'm like, here we go with the prospect thing again. But at this point, somebody needs to fight Aaron Blanchfield. And the reason I say that is because there's somebody out there. You got two things. You got Aaron Blanchfield out here without an opponent. And then you've got Miranda Maverick desperate for a win. Not desperate, but in need of a win. You know what I'm saying? She needs to be back into the win column. So... Aaron Blanchfield versus Macy Barber is a barn burner. I mean, Aaron Blanchfield versus Miranda Maverick is a barn burner. 
So I want to see what happens in that fight. Can we see Miranda Maverick pull the trigger? Or do we see Aaron Blanchfield, you know, take out Miranda Maverick and tell her, you know, nah, this is, I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? I'm here now. You had your chance. You didn't capitalize. I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? So let's see, guys. This is your boy BJ back to No Filter. You may drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I'm out.